Valley High School seniors and families. While it is still our hope to be able to bring you all an in-person ceremony sometime this summer, we have put together a few highlights of our traditional graduation ceremony in the virtual form. As you spend tonight closing one chapter of your life and beginning a new chapter tomorrow as a high school graduate, know that while it may be bittersweet to say goodbye to this time in your life, you have so much to look forward to as you go out into the world and begin a different but even more fulfilling journey. Know that you have been given the necessary foundation to be able to accomplish great things and the life lessons have only made you stronger. I remember the first time I thought about the class of 2020 in general terms. I was actually the speaker at an eighth grade promotion in Phoenix in May of 2016 before I made the move to California. I spoke about how with such a cool graduation year attached to them, 2020, they had an obligation to themselves to be one of the best graduating classes to ever come through their school. Fast forward four years as I get the privilege of addressing you today, this class of 2020, and you all must have been listening because you truly didn't disappoint. My words to you can never replace the time you didn't get to spend enjoying your last nine weeks together with each other and our staff, enjoying you. This has weighed heavily on all of our hearts throughout these last few months. But perhaps you can find some solace and pride in knowing that the resilience and character you all have demonstrated throughout this difficult time will set you apart from all other classes to come through Apple Valley High School. There isn't a teacher, counselor, administrator, or staff member that will not look back in 30 years and vividly remember this experience and their heart will fill with pride as they recall how this group of young adults endured through a global pandemic. I will close with a message from one of your classmates with, which I thought was very profound and captured the situation better than I could have. She states, though we have missed large irreplaceable pieces of our last year of high school, we can take comfort in the fact that the world will never forget the class of 2020. We are now permanently a fixture of global history our grandparents and great-grandparents were called the greatest generation, but we are perfectly positioned to be the next greatest generation. An excellent education comes in many forms, and one form is learning how to overcome struggle and mental quarantines. As we embark onward towards our future, we will take our experiences with us, our digital technology and savvy, our awareness of the environment, our innovative mindset, our mental toughness, and our ability to overcome any obstacles, large and small. We are the warrior generation, and I am so excited to see what we will create and accomplish in many years to come. Class of 2020, congratulations to us. Thank you, Nisha, for those words. While I pray that we are given the opportunity to be together one last time in a formal ceremony in our school stadium, I just hope until then that you know how proud your staff is of you. We will miss you, but we honor you, the class of 2020. board members, administrator staff, family, friends, and most importantly, the graduates of Apple Valley High School. It is such an honor standing in front of you today to express the happiness and excitement in our hearts. I know that this is the not the ideal situation we had planned for, but we made it. We persevered and fought through it. Therefore, we will always be the remembered class. The great Snoop Dogg once said, you've got to always go back in time if you want to move forward. However, I don't want this to be a reason you all dwell on the past, but to remember the good times. There are so many what ifs to this situation that will never be answered. But that's okay. Reflect on the good that came from the time we all had in high school. From the Friday night lights, dances, classes with your friends, etc. There is so much good that came from our short four years here at Apple Valley High School that we need to focus on those memories, not the ones that could have been. Take this as a lesson for the future. Use the struggle as a motivation to get better. We all pushed through when our senior year was cut short so we can stay determined and positive through what the rest of life has in store for us. We are all stronger than we think and more loved than we know. Lastly, I would like to thank my family for always being so supportive and loving for everything I do. To my friends, you made these last four years of high school the best yet. And finally, my teachers that motivated me to keep navigating and pushing through what life has to offer. I wouldn't be the person I am without your passion and motivation. I am forever grateful for the best four years of my life and cannot wait to see what else has in store. Thank you and remember Sun Devil Pride is always contagious.
things. First off, a huge thank you to all the teachers, administration, board members, custodians, the rest of the superlative staff of Apple Valley High School, and last but not least, the parents and guardians of the graduating class of 2020. We truly could not be here without your endless support. I and many of my fellow graduates have been looking forward to this day since freshman year and some even kindergarten. We've all worked extremely hard towards this great milestone, yet none of us realized that Friday, March 13th, would be our last in-person, non-virtual day of high school. We may never get to experience a senior ditch day, grad night, senior prom, a typical graduation, or even a proper goodbye to all of our friends and teachers. I'll admit we've had somewhat of a rocky start and a rough ending. Freshman year, we survived the notorious California wildfires and now through this global pandemic. But we've had some truly incredible and unforgettable moments in between. Dancing the night away at our first homecoming to cheering until we lost our voices during the bow games and many, many others. Throughout the four years and all the experiences, we've also learned to embrace and adapt to unforeseen situations. Whether it was by listening to suggestions from various news outlets and scientists, adjusting your own plans to put others' health first, or just by taking precautions seriously, you have all sacrificed some crucial moments in your life for the greater good, and I applaud you for that. Because our class has encountered such unique challenges at such an early point in our lives, the way we deal with setbacks will be unlike any other, and our resilience will set us apart for future success. Just as we have learned here at Apple Valley High School, no matter what path you take after, I encourage you all to continue to ask critical questions, to be the spark, and to remember that the thing that truly controls your life is neither fear nor uncertainty, but yourself. Congratulations, Sun Devils. Well, I just gotta start off by saying that the class of 2020 has officially pulled off the greatest prank of all time, ditching the entire fourth quarter. With that, I want to welcome back the class of 2020, or as will better be remembered in the history books, the class of COVID-19. Parents, teachers, staff, friends, and families, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support these past four years, and especially for coming together and making us seniors feel extremely special during this pandemic. I want to welcome you all as we celebrate the graduating class of 2020. Graduates, as I stand before you today, I want, to I want to congratulate each and every one of you for accomplishing such an amazing feat. I know it's been a while since we've all met, so I want to take a trip down memory lane. Some of the best memories of senior year were definitely Mr. Sun Devil, Senior Ditch Day, and of course, the best one of all, prom. But all jokes aside, I must commend this class for persevering through these challenging times. If COVID-19 has taught me one thing, it's that this moment right here, right now, should never be taken for granted. I know we were all expecting a normal senior year, but life is full of twists and turns, taking us to a destination we may never have expected. Today, we take our first step into that outside world that everyone calls life, together, and ready to tackle any adversity that we're faced with. As my high school career was coming to an end, Miss Lovelady asked me one life-changing question the day before my Harvard interview. Why do you believe all the teachers and staff on campus know who you are? At first, I thought it was because of my charm and good looks, or even possibly my luscious locks. But then I proposed because of my grades? I could not have been more wrong. Relationships. Relationships was the answer. It was at that moment that I realized that the success I've achieved up until now is not because of my good grades or what college I'm going to attend, but the relationships, friendships, and memories that I've created throughout my four years of high school. In just my time at ADHS, I've been able to turn my life around from the boy who was nowhere near being a straight A student and would come home crying every day after being bullied to the courageous, sociable, and hardworking individuals standing amongst you all delivering this speech. For that, I must thank all the teachers, counselors, and staff at ADHS for giving me such a wonderful education and for guiding me throughout my high school journey. 
I have to also thank my parents and grandparents for inspiring me to strive further and my sister for always being my backbone. Without any of these people, I wouldn't be standing where I am today. Now many of you may not know, but ever since I was younger, I always wanted a nickname. And with my name, there really aren't that many nicknames to give, so my friends called me Cabbage. Yes, Cabbage liked the vegetable. I know it's not the most ideal or appealing name, but it's the name that has described me best. With each passing year, a layer of the cabbage was removed, ultimately reaching to the core of who I am. Sometimes it may take days, months, or even years to shed off the layers of insecurity, self-doubt, and to be confident in your own skin. But when that moment comes, you'll feel a new sense of freedom. When we leave the school, what will be more important then what path you choose, whether that may be going to college, joining the military, or even heading into the workforce, will be the people which you surround yourself with. So make sure that each one of you finds the people in your lives that help to reach your own core. Before I go, I'll leave you a quote by Jim Carrey. The effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. So go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live the life you've imagined. Go out there and make an impact on the world. Class of 2020, you've been the greatest class out there. And remember, if we can get through the crazy year of 2020, we can get through anything. Love you class of 2020 and thank you. It is with great pleasure now that I present from our distinguished scholar students who hold the highest academic honors for this graduating class, the valedictorians for the class of 2020. These students have challenged themselves with the most rigorous curriculum we have to offer. ABHS is a school of program and pathways. Our students have a variety of options available to them as they work through their four years with us. This group of valedictorians is no exception. They have all traveled unique pathways through their four years here. Some are members of our ASB, athletics, AVID, MAST, AVEX, CAMP, musicians, artists, and thespians and all have had time in our AP program, and of course, have tackled a new twist this year with distance learning. While all 12 students entered their final quarter as finalists qualified to be co-valedictorians, they were then provided the opportunity to audition to give the valedict valedictory speech here tonight. At this time, I would like to call each finalist to the stage. I will read a brief bio of each student and formally announce them. Heading to the University of California, Santa Barbara, Valedictorian Brooklyn Bachman. Brooklyn plans to major in psychology and pre-law. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers who motivated her through her high school years and helped her to get where she is today. Heading to the University of California, San Diego, Valedictorian Ethan Cantrell. Ethan plans to major in applied mathematics. He would like to thank his parents for supporting him and encouraging him to hold tight to his aspirations, as well as Mrs. Murphy for kicking off every day of his senior year with so much excitement for the wonderful world of calculus. Heading to the University of California, Los Angeles, valedictorian Valerie Chavez. Valerie is planning to major in biochemistry and pursue a career in the medical field as a physician. She would like to thank her parents for setting a great example of what it means to triumph in the face of adversity. Heading to the University of California, San Diego, valedictorian Anna Claire. Anna plans on majoring in political science she would like to thank her friends who have encouraged her throughout the years, her brothers who always remind her to laugh, and her parents and grandparents for the endless support and love they continue to show her. Heading to the University of California, Los Angeles, valedictorian Jason Flea. Jason plans to major in mathematics and economics. He would like to thank his dad, Mayor, his mom, Amal, his brother, Kevin, and his favorite teacher, Mr. Collins, and the rest of the amazing family, friends, and staff of ABHS for their continuous support and encouragement throughout his high school career. Heading to the University of California, Berkeley, valedictorian Kavish Lumba. Kavish plans to major in bioengineering. He states, I would like to give a special thanks to all my teachers and mentors who have given me much knowledge and guidance all throughout high school. I would also like to show my gratitude towards Ms. Howell and all of the staff members at Apple Valley High School for making each and every graduate feel so special despite these difficult times. Lastly, I would like to thank my parents and sister for always being my support system and motivating me to be the best version of myself. Without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. 
heading to the University of California, San Diego, valedictorian Solomon Malcolm. Solomon plans to major in political science and then law school. He would like to thank his parents, both for teaching him for eight years and continuing to support him at ABHS. Heading to the University of California, Los Angeles, valedictorian Mohammed Mia. Mohammed plans to major in microbiology and immunology on a pre-med track. Heading to Duke University, valedictorian Yuna O. Yuna plans to major in environmental science and policy. She states that she is beyond thankful for the endless opportunities and support given to her by her parents, friends, Mrs. Schneider, Miss Lovelady, Mr. Hogren, Mr. and Mrs. Collins, and the rest of the amazing ABHS staff. Heading to the University of California, San Diego, valedictorian Isabella Pendleton. Isabella plans to major in political science. She would like to thank her dad for pushing her to be the best and recognizing all of her achievements, and would like to thank her friends for being there through it all. Heading to the University of Pennsylvania, valedictorian Nisha Subramanian. Nisha plans to double major in health and societies and environmental policy and management. She would like to thank everyone at Apple Valley High School since everyone, including each teacher and staff member, has always been so kind and supportive. Heading to Montana State University, valedictorian Bernadette West. Bernadette plans to major in biochemistry. She would like to thank her amazing parents, Michael and Cecilia, and her brother and sister, Mark and Sophia, for everything they have done for her and continue to do for her and for being the best supporters in all that she does. She states, I appreciate you all and everything you guys do for me more than you could ever know. She would also like to thank Mrs. Arredondo for allowing her to have so many incredible opportunities throughout high school and for being such a great role model. Please give a round of applause to these fine Sun Devil Scholars. On behalf of our 52nd graduating class and all of us here at Apple Valley High School, we would like to thank you, Mrs. Nelson, for all that you have done for our students, staff, and community. It is my pleasure to certify to you and to the Board of Trustees that these students standing before you have met all the requirements of the State of California and they have met the requirements of the Apple Valley Unified School District necessary for graduation. Mrs. Nelson, on behalf of the staff of Apple Valley High School, it is my pleasure to present the Class of 2020. As Superintendent of the Apple Valley Unified School District, and on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I accept and certify the graduating class of 2020 has met all of the requirements necessary for graduation from Apple Valley High School. The class of 2020 and the staff of Apple Valley High School would like to extend our thanks and appreciation to you, the parents and families for your support. It is with great humility and honor that we say thank you for entrusting us with your children and allowing us to serve you and your family. As this ceremony concludes, I would like to thank our guests and wish the class of 2020 a bright and successful future. We are now ready for the symbolic tassel ceremony. So graduates, Go ahead and stand with your caps on and move your tassels from the right to the left because you are now high school graduates. Congratulations, class of 2020, and we hope to see you soon to celebrate in person. Thank you.